Hello everyone and welcome to Growing With Simon. So full disclosure, this is my very first video. So go easy on me. Um, so what I decided to do is to document uh, my hydroponic um, journey. Um, essentially, I don't work in the winter. I have a seasonal business. So in the winter I do, I stay home with the kids and I decided uh, to start growing some stuff in the winter because my wife is a big gardener and we end up getting a pretty big greenhouse in the back for her. She's doing it uh, the, in the soil. I don't like to get my hands uh, dirty, so I'm gonna do it with some water nutrient. So let's get started as to what I'm doing. Um, and I'll show you what I've been doing wrong. Because when I first got started, I just kind of like went in without doing a little bit of research and I bought some stuff that uh, total waste of money, some, some grow lights that just didn't work. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing now. It's kind of sort of working. I should be able to harvest uh, my first lettuce about two weeks time, which is awesome. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's have a look at uh, what I'm doing here. All right, so this is my first setup. Um, it's very simple, 64 liter um, tote from Home Depot. I punctured eight uh, two inch holes with a hole saw and you just get two inch neck cups with the uh, rock saw on the inside when you buy these neck cups just make sure that your two inch is um, the inside diameter so from inside to inside rather than the outside here that way your neck cups won't fall through your two inch hole in your lid um, but they do make um, some that are two and a quarter two and one eighth on the outside and like i said the inside here is what's two inch that way it sits nicely right here and these here are just some mason jars that I'm uh, experimenting with. Eventually, I'm gonna grow some basil in here. So make sure that you have the wide mouth mason jars. That way it fits the three inch neck cups. And essentially, I just have uh, different uh, pH and nutrients in each one of these five plants that they grew at the same time. Um, that way, um, I can just kind of do like an experiment to see which one's growing better. Because um, like, for example, this one here is doing pretty good. But in my opinion, this one here seems to be doing even better. And uh, the difference is, one has a little bit less uh, nutrients and the pH is a little bit higher. But I'll uh, give you all those details once my uh, experiment is done. But essentially this is like, for example, 5.9 uh, pH and this is EC of uh, 1928. And this one here that I think right now is growing a little bit better has a pH of 2.6.2 uh, and uh, EC of 1125. So like I said, a little bit different each one and we'll just wanna see what one uh, grows best. Um, so the reason that I did change to my other setup that I will show you after is because this grow light that I use, uh, the Vipar P1000, is very good to for a coverage of two by two. So this tote here is not two by two. It could be like two and a half, but I think it's by 18. So essentially I made a box that is exactly two by two and I can fit twice uh, the amount of lettuce. So I have 16 growing in a two by two. Um, so I get uh, double the production in the same amount of space, more or less. Um, and also the other one's made out of wood. So I was able to uh, build some um, a one by two vertically here so that I can clamp one of my um, fans on there to blow air on the lettuce. Because one of the reasons that uh, I found out that my stuff wasn't growing properly is that because I'm in my mechanical room, there's no airflow like whatsoever. So the plants weren't breathing properly and there was no like wind. Like if you're outside, you'd have wind, which is great, but inside there's no wind. So in my mechanical room, I need to have a fan going. But if you really grow this, let's say on your main floor, you know, you open a window or whatever, and it'll, it'll, it'll be more than enough. So uh, that's it for this setup. I will show you what I'm growing my lettuce in next, and then, because uh, that's what I'll be using from now on. These toes are just to, uh, to experiment and uh, kind of just see what happens. Or maybe I'll just, like start my seeds here in, let's say, three weeks when they get a little bit big like this one here. I'll transplant them into my... Uh, my next um, my next bin. So anyways, yes, yeah, so I'll show you my setup next. All right, so this is uh, my new setup. Essentially, it's two by two. Um, the way I have it set up is half inch plywood at the bottom, a two by 10 for our walls, vapor barrier um, on the inside to uh, do like a liner to uh, hold the water. I would um, I did two layers of it just in case one gets punctured. I have a second uh, line of defense, and um, so let's have a quick look at our box. So I said plywood, two by ten, 
and the poly is squeezed underneath um, my one by two, which was just scrap wood. So you can kind of see the poly right there. I'm gonna lift this up so I can show you inside. And there you are, so you have two layers of poly. And uh, so I did caulk the corners inside as a third line of defense because the last thing I want is for this to leak in my mechanical room because that's where I am right now. Um, and the roots look nice, except for that one there. Um, and I'll show you why afterwards. All right, so looking at the plants here, these ones here, I grew these um, before the other eight. Um, so these ones should be ready for harvest in two weeks. Um, they all look really good, at the exception of this one here. Uh, this one here, one morning I was showing my kids, and when I pulled the roots out, it got stuck like this, as you can tell, and the roots ended up killing the plant. Not a big deal, trial and error. Um, these two over here, I don't know why they aren't uh, growing as big as the other ones, but now it's kind of too late because the water is down a bit and they didn't establish their roots properly. These two here, I just have the cardboard because I don't want the light to pierce through to uh, create the algae in the water. So by the way, if uh, water light hits through water, algae will grow. Um, so I have these to cover that up and they looked like this one, but worse. So that's why I took it out. Um, so that's all the information from this setup here. All right, so the nutrient that I'm using is uh, the Master Blend um, lettuce formula. It's a three-part mix, and I'm going to tell you right now before we even get started, you cannot mix them all together at one time. It will not work. You'll get nutrient lock, and your stuff is not going to grow. So you need to dissolve this one first and this one afterwards. You put it into your reservoir, and then you dilute this one here afterwards, and then you dump it in. So I'll show you how I do it. I just mentioned this first because it's very important. So here I have a five gallon pail, and as you can see here, I made a mark that is uh, 15 liters. So I fill this up to 15 liters, I dump it in my 64 liter tank. So because it's 64 liters, it fits four of these. So two of them are going to be just water. The next one's gonna be warm water with um, di um, dissolve this one here, the lettuce formula. And then once this is dissolved, I'm going to dissolve the magnesium sulfate in the same bucket. And the water has to be warm to, to help the, um, it to dissolve. And I'm gonna dump it in the 64 gallon tank. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get the fourth bucket full of um, warm water, because it helps to dissolve the calcium nitrate. And once it is fully dissolved, it, you're gonna stir for probably five minutes or so. You could dump that last one into the tote. So once you have it in the tote, I'm gonna assuming I'm gonna assume this is where you're gonna start. With. Not my two by two bin. You can just start with this with one uh, light, and that's gonna be and that's gonna be perfect. Um, you're gonna fill it up, and the 64 liters is gonna be too much water um, because what you want is you want the net cup to touch just a little bit of water. You want the, the water to come to about one eighth up your net cup. That way your stuff gets, um, gets wet and it's going to help grow the plant. If you wonder why I have this, um, like this aluminum tape is because I want to block the light from coming through here. I had a little bit of algae, so it blocks the light, which is what I want. Okay. And then if you're going to open this up here, you can tell that my roots touch a little bit because they're 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 um, they're new, but as uh, the water evaporates, the water is gonna go down. So you want it to touch just a little bit, and then um, so you'd be dumping some out instead of dumping some and just putting it in your sink. I just keep it in these five gallon pails because um, I just keep it in case I need it, and I have these black bags on them. That way uh, algae doesn't grow from the light. Thank you for watching the first video of Growing with Simon. Um, and hopefully you learned enough to get started um, with ideally a 64 gallon tote. This is the easiest way to do it with a two inch uh, hole saw to puncture your eight holes. Put your uh, 60 liters of uh, nutrient in there and then remove what the little extra because you will have a little bit extra so that your neck cup is submerged maybe like an eighth of an inch over the bottom so that your rock wool cubes will be able to maintain a little bit of moisture to grow your seeds. 
Um, so the seeds, I do propagate them beforehand. Um, so once the first two leaves start popping out, that's when I put them in the, um, in the tote. And then from there, you just kind of set and forget. Okay, look at their pH, and that's pretty much it. So I do have the net cups. I do have my pH and my EC uh, meter that I got on Amazon. It's not the best. It just gives me a rough idea of what it is. If you want something good, you're gonna have to get the, uh, the better quality stuff. I think this was like 30 bucks for both meters, while a good um, pH meter is about 50 bucks, and a really good EC meter, I think they're like about 100 bucks. This here is my scale. Um, essentially, it's very small because I want to um, be able to measure 0.1s of a gram, because when you mix nutrients, if you go like a smaller number, so do like a top up, um, you need like 3.9 or whatever. So this is why I'm using this scale. I got my fans, I got my lights, I got my um, smart plugs, which these are awesome because you can set a schedule on the app. Um, to go, let's say at 10 o'clock, it's gonna turn off and then at six o'clock, it's gonna turn back on. And that's how you calculate um, your on off DLI uh, based on how many hours you have off and on. Um, and then I have my lights and I got my um, extension, my power bar, that's what it is. So yeah, so besides that, oh, and the nutrients is all uh, it was all on Amazon. So it, it just makes it easier. You know, we have one shop to buy everything. If you have any comments, leave them below. I will answer every single comment. All right, so thank you for watching uh, Growing With Simon. Um, like I said, in two weeks, um, every two weeks, I'm gonna try and post something. Um, so, the, uh, so the next video is probably going to be um, the harvest, and I may change this around again. Um, to try different stuff and I will document everything that I do just so you guys know and you guys can do the same thing. If I make a mistake, you guys get to, uh, to fix those mistakes on your end if you follow what I'm doing. So thank you very much and we'll see you in the next one.